Hello all. You would have seen my slope correction tool demonstration in my playlist. If not, don't worry. I am about to show a small portion of the video here. The user interface of the tool would be very simple. You got a text box to enter the slope value and a button to start the operation. That's it. What task does this tool perform? It will automatically correct the slope of the pre-engineered building. In addition to that, if you actually look into the erected PEB structure, the top flange of the model will be in exact slope as you can witness in the AutoCAD, AutoCAD drawing which I am currently showing. But while modeling in STAT, you can't easily achieve this. To solve this problem, we got our program here. It actually helps us to perform the aforementioned functions. To see that in action, let me change the slope of the building to 2.5 is to 10 and just click. Yeah, you can witness how the program changes the slope of a building and adjust each and every node to a particular position. First of all, in order to perform this operation, the coordinates of the nodes need to be determined in first place. The open start function which I used to do this Himalayan task was get node coordinates function. And that is the content for this video. Without further ado, let's get into the actual video. Moving on to the open start library under geometry session and within nodes, we have our get node coordinates function. Let's quickly review the syntax of the function. We have one input parameter that is the node number and then three output parameters. And these output parameters are used to store the values of X, Y and Z coordinates respectively. With all set, we are about to move to Excel VBA page. Like uh, I have already created a module. Now option explicit, sub, and I'm going to name the program as demo which is as usual, then the important portion, we need to have an object variable to store the instance of OpenStat. Dim OS as object, then three more variables of type double to store the coordinate values. Dim X as double, dim Y as double, and dim Z as double. With all this, let us go for our function os dot geometry dot get node coordinates say three i'm going to get the nodal coordinates of the member three then comma x comma y comma and z that's all the program is over now we need to visually see the result right so let me store the values of these variables into some of the cells in excel so let's pass the value of this variable to cells a1, b1 and c1. So sheet1 dot range a1 dot value is equal to x. Copy the line, paste it two times, change the cell reference to b1 and c1 and the values to y and z. Now we are all ready. Let's run the program. As you could see, the function did its intended purpose and we got the exact coordinate of the node 3 in our Excel sheet. If you guys want to verify, let's check with the nodes in the stat. Yes, it is one and the same. That's all for the today's video. With this said, let us see you guys in our next video. Until then, it's bye from Parshit Jayan. For more videos and updates, please do subscribe to Structure Simplified. Thank you.